Subscribing and liking out here, supporting. Welcome to the show, baby. Yeah, shout out to everybody from Boston, from Chelsea. I love for all y'all. Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, real shit. Truly excited, you know what I'm saying? To have everybody here holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody subscribing, liking, checking us out, yo. We truly appreciate that shit. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Shout out to y'all. And let's keep it moving. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. The end season tournament. That shit is good, bro. I like it. I'm a big fan of it right now. Okay. You see, when's the last time we had this much, you know, um, this much anticipation for a game in December or November? It's been a long time since we've seen something like that. These guys are putting in full effort, going in hard for that 500K. Especially, like, players like, um, like let's say, like, Pritchett, for example, who may not have the biggest bag in the league, like, this chick is still changing his life too, so <laughs> we're going for it. Nah, it's facts. Uh, it's definitely better than just having just Christmas games, which is cool too. But for sure, like I like the in season tournament. I think it created that competitiveness with everybody too. So I'm looking forward to that shit, man. I'm looking for everybody going crazy, fighting for this little little soccer World Cup shit, whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's dope either way. Top right, 10? right now, mm. Halliburton is top ten. Yes, for a fact. Halliburton, Halliburton might be the best point guard in the NBA right now. Let me see. Better than Shy? Right or now, Shea? yeah. Right now, yeah. He got better stats than him. Who was my thinking? Point guard was Ja. I mean, hey, Ja's not playing right now. So yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I'll give yeah. you that. All right, better than yeah. Ja. Um, De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, I would say he better than Fox. Uh, who else is out there? I yeah, I think he has the best stats right now as a point guard. All right. He got better numbers than Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah, I would say he better. Wait, is Luka a point? Mm -hmm. I'm talking traditional points. Like, because yeah, if that's the know, case, man. you're going to bring is in Braun as a point? I mean, can you play him point in fantasy? Can you what? Can you play him in point in fantasy? Who? Um, Luka, Luka, not Luka. Luka. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I'm going to go with fantasy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you can play him in point guard. You can call him point. You could? Damn. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Is he better than Curry? We wild. I don't know about that Statistically, one. he might be having a better year than Curry. <sighs> Probably. I'm not talking about, you know, when I say that, I'm not talking about like history, years, and I'm talking about right now. This is a hot take. I'm gonna say right that Hal Burton is better than Curry Vault. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, it's looking like it. Alright. Fair enough. Yo, we've been getting exposed in the paint too, I think, low key. Oh, um, no bigs. Only yeah. Al, I feel like Al's the only anchor we got, bro. And how much can we keep putting on Al to save our ass? Yeah, it's only it's only so much that Al could do. Al's old as hell, man. <laughs> so many guys know. old as hell, man. My K out here balling, though. Yo, Al, I stopped laughing no power, man. I see Facts, you. I know, you know what I'm saying? saying? That shit's helping them old brittle bones, man. That man. fungal kid. <laughs> He's still keeping it up. Al's a fucking... Al says it's a demon when he plays the sixes. Yo, bro, when he sees Joel and B, bro. He's sunning that, yo. man. I was that nigga's grandpa. Yo, bro. <laughs> he ain't even real. his father. He's his grandfather. Yo, shout out to Al, my guy. Yeah. Dominicano. Yeah, and can't forget the work he puts on Giannis, too. Yo, that's he crazy. Oh, my up. God. Giannis B. Y'all remember that dunk on yo. Giannis? Yo. Shout out to oh, Al, Oh, my bro. God. How's that guy? Yes. Yeah, whenever it's playoff season, man, Al... Puts in a hundred, hundred percent effort, man. If we win a ring, I'd probably be the happiest. Like I'd be happy for Al the most. Yeah, no, nah, hell yeah, for <laughs> real. That would be for him because he, he's, he's deserved it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's logged in so many. I think he's played the most playoff minutes without ever winning a ring in NBA history. And he won the college. He won the college twice. Yeah, twice yeah, I think. Miami. Yeah, I think they won it twice at like that. So, yo, Al's a baller, bro. For real. 
Yo, I got a question. What's up? If if I wins the championship, yeah, can we he, retire him. No, I wasn't even gonna do oh, say that. Nah, I'm saying we retired. Uh, we gotta do that. Do you think he could make the Hall of Fame? I think he make the Hall of Fame for sure. Yeah. I think without it, that's gonna be a stretch. But if he yeah. gets the ring, you right. I think he yeah. make, he got it. Like how Definitely. you how you don't make the Hall of Fame like. Cause you know how they they factor in college, mm -hmm. they factor in international play, and he um, might play twenty years. They're saying he going for the twenty year mark too, bro. That's crazy. That's not easy. Yeah. Is he a big doing that shit? Like you don't see. That's that. why. That's why we've been uh, reserving his minutes a lot this season. And, like you know, this even back to last year. I think last year too, he wasn't playing back to backs. Nah, but without Porzingis out there, they got him playing a lot though. And mm -hmm. That's really like. Can't rely on him to do all that by himself, like hold down the paint where everybody's in there. Yeah, I, that's yeah. something that I would love to ask Brad. Like, what was the strategy on on building this bench and not having another three pointers, another, another big man, three pointers? Simple. Because we're coming into a season where, all right, I was getting old. They said before the season started that he's only playing about twenty minutes a game. That was a lie. And then you're coming in with Al, right? And, and also Porzingis, who's injury prone, and look what's going on. He's missing games right now because he's hurt. So I feel like they should have thought of something like this and already have a, a big on the, on the roster. But, you know, maybe they're just waiting for next to the, uh, the trade deadline. And they can pull something on. Who else we got? Pelicans and Kings. Pelicans and Kings? That's a good one. That is a good one. Who you got in there? I'm going Kings. You got Kings? I'm going Kings until Zion can show me a little something. Mm. Yeah, I know he's been balling out uh, so far, but if he, can, if he can pull that win off, then I'll start taking them serious. If Brandon Ingram and Zion play, I think I got the Pelicans. Yeah? Yeah, I like the squad. No love for Sabonis and Fox. Nah, they, they nice too. I don't know why I don't trust nah, he them. Lying. He I got, I got, I got Kevin Herter on my my fantasy team. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Herter. Herter. Yeah. We're gonna edit that. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got Red Velvet. That's what we call him in the group chat. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna let it rock, and so he brought it up. I was like, oh, yeah, I think it's Herter, man. You got everybody in the audience like mother. <laughs> that is not how you say it. But yeah, um you think if both of those both of them play, um would you say uh Ingram is on Ingram is on if they play, you mm -hmm. taking them? Nah, yeah, for sure. I, I I think I like that two that duo whenever they together. They click really well. I think it's a dangerous duo. I just think they get hurt a lot, so yeah. That's always that's always the fact that I think with them, to be real. Yeah, no, I think I think the Kings are taking man. You know, Darren Fox. He was uh, he was injured, but he's back now. He's balling again. What about CJ? That's that's another key factor. CJ. He definitely, you know, what I'm saying, you need CJ. CJ is going. Yeah, sweet, even um, you know, you know who's solid for Pelicans, uh, Herbert. Yeah, it's like he he does a little bit of everything. He's a, he's a solid player. He he's a, a he's a contributing everything. player in their rotation. So you gotta you gotta look at everybody on the team like that. You know what I mean, oh, yeah. what other games? What other games we got? Uh, then Tuesday we got the Knicks and the Bucks. The Knicks and the Bucks. Yeah, let's speak on that for a few. Yeah. Hmm. Who you got? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that that hard. I think Vegas <laughs> got the Bucks. I, I get that. I think people sleep on the Knicks, and I get it. Like it's not like they're crazy L or nothing, but they be they hold it down sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I give them a little bit more credit than people give them. But it's Boston all day. Don't give it to us. Man. Yep, Suns and Lakers. Hmm. Lakers trying to win this shit. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That's going to be the championship. The, yo, honestly, because y'all ain't seeing us in the finals either. So. Hell nah. It's going to be y'all finals, though. It's going to be cute. Yeah, it's, facts. It's going to be like the bubble all over again. LeBron's going to love that. Shout out to e -Mail. Yo, shout out to e -Mail, You know what I'm saying? He's a dog. He's a real one. We winner. miss you, bro. Facts. We miss you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't your fault either, man. Nah. I'm sure it is fault. It was set up. 
by the man. <laughs> to stop the no, Celtics from man. winning. <laughs> the man. Man, that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Word. But, yeah, man, real exciting to kind of see this tournament. Yeah. Hopefully this shit rocks and pops off. They do need to chill with the course, though, bro. Like, Yeah, a lot of players been slipping on that. Hell yeah, and JB slip. Oh, my gosh. Woo. I thought the worst. Mm. I thought the fucking worst. Because mm -hmm. the worst injuries be when there's no contact. Yeah, yeah he just slipped. and JB yeah. had like a little history, I feel like, the way he be injuring himself. Yeah, he strained his hamstring. You know what I'm saying? Off like, that shit. Of course, slippery as hell, bright as a motherfucker. And like, it's a, I, I'm thinking it's a little inconsistent because he says some of them are good. Like the one in Boston is good. And then there's just certain ones where you're just slipping. I think uh, Luca also slipped as well. He said something about it. There's been a couple players in the league that have uh, addressed the slipping this uh, the court so a Celtics one look fire though I'll tell you that's that. the best one in the league I'm not even being biased I mean mm -hmm. maybe I am but <laughs> that shit is the best one in the league yeah but it's all good cause that shit fire either way Hell yeah. the red ones are crazy bro like yeah it was the Bulls head. yeah that shit was insane are the all blue ones too I think the Raptors had an all red one too that shit was intense it was I forgot who had. I think it was Memphis with their all blue one. That shit that crazy. Shit was a little crazy. Well, like gives the college vibes a little bit. Of course, like yeah, that. it do. I mean, they they dope, but they just need to tone that down a little bit. It's too much. Yeah, but you know, like you said, it's the, it's the first season, so we're just testing the waters. See how it probably probably make some adjustments next season. <laughs> It could be a world where the Bucks drop a little lower and we see him in the second round. That that could be a possibility. We got we got Orlando in number two right now, which is nuts. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Orlando out here Yo, like that. Sign up to Orlando. I'll give it to y'all because y'all beat our ass every fucking time we play y'all. Y'all niggas destroyed us. I think y'all beat us three times last season. And the other day, I ran right fucking through us. I don't know what it is. In that Orlando Yo, last air. year, didn't they do that shit too? Yeah, they beat our yeah, ass. that's crazy. Hold on, so. Damn. I forgot about that, yeah. They've been beating our ass for years now. Slick. Ever since, you ever heard that story? Eddie House? No, I He haven't. talked trash. He he made a, he made a post oh, on Twitter saying, like, Oh, I think like, I remember. Trash. Yeah, I think I remember yeah, that and, shit um, now, actually. That's wild. It was a cult. So we blame Eddie Cole on Anthony. that? Anthony. And he fucking um, <laughs> he came out and said, uh, "Thank you for that." Yeah, he man. said, "He said Eddie House is one of the reasons that they go so hard when they play the Celtics." That's crazy. Magic's out here watching the interviews and post games and shit. Yeah, after. yeah. All players do. All players. Every time a player says that they don't on the care, other side, though? Lying. on the other side though, mostly because he tweeted about it. Oh, that was he made tweet. a tweet. Yeah, that's, true, that's true. He tweeted about it. So. All the Orlando fans saw that shit and got back to the to the Orlando players and they ain't having that shit. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie, it's all Eddie's fault, man. I feel you. Blame that nigga. We owe them. We owe them a, a playoff, Aldo. Orlando for, for 2009. We got them back in 2010. Oh, another one. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what's uh, crazy? Want to know a little fact? A little fun fact? Orlando has not won a playoff series since 2010. That was their last yeah. one? Yeah. That playoff run was the last time they That was when Dwight got series. traded or some shit? Dwight was out of there? Nah, That's Dwight cool. played the next year. He got tra traded in 2012. Mm. I think it was. That's crazy. All right. Here's a good question. Who's gonna make their first All Star appearance this year? Uh, excuse me if I'm mistaken, but has Halliburton made the play uh, All Stars? He made it last year, I believe. He did? Yeah, I believe he made it last year. Yeah, he definitely made it last year. If I'm not mistaken. I think Wimby Yama gonna. Make it. Yeah, I think Wimby Yama gonna make it. Paolo Banchero might make it. That's a good one, too, actually. Yeah, you someone on the Magic's it. definitely got to make it. You're not lying about yeah, that. Yeah, he's been fucking Some balling out. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan Paolo. of him. I'm not going to fuck. I'm a fan of him. I like, it. I like his, uh, his, his style of play. All right. 
very like grit and like you know what I mean he can shoot too like he he's always in the post. Paulo DeJounte Murray. Paulo. <laughs> Paulo, yeah. I don't think I think if you switch roles, Atlanta would be better and Orlando wouldn't be as good. I don't think he could lead them as good as Paulo could. I don't, I don't. I don't think so either. Probably, but I'm only bringing that up because they had their little scuffle. Do you remember that shit? At like them too. Yeah, at the pickup game before. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, because he talked about that in the interview, right? Yeah, that's why I yeah. brought. That's why I brought that up. Yeah, I remember that. And yeah, I, I think they were sending shots to each other on Twitter or some shit like that. Yeah, they're talking how the shit. I think they squashed that shit, but that shit was real funny though. I mean, Deontay Murray is. He's a shit talker. Yeah, he he's is. a shit talker. He was talking a lot of shit to the C's players last year in the playoffs. And got his ass busted. Hell yeah. That bullshit. That ass routed in six. Right. <laughs> Only Trey Young can talk. <laughs> Yo, pst, you remember that shot he hit? Was it game one, game two? Yeah, that shit was nasty. I ain't gonna lie. But then nothing happened after that. So, so good. You know what I mean? So Magic, you think they're going to make the, the playoffs? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Orlando is on the come up. Orlando is on the fucking come up, man. And yeah, if we, yo, we see them in the playoffs. <laughs> That's yo, what we're trying to I would avoid. Never, I would That's never, what we're trying to avoid in the playoffs. I would never say that they would beat us, but I think there would be like a little, a little hint of a doubt thrown into that series because they have a fucking number right now. Nah, yeah, they've been getting us. I'll give you that. We got to definitely pick that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have to. We got to pick it up. Fuck the unwritten rules. I love when a team is at 20 and keeps, keeps playing, Keeps bro. it going and going and yeah. going. I love that shit. Yeah, it brings tears, and joy, I'm glad to you, my face. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, what I'm saying the dudes that get the garbage time got to sacrifice because of some unwritten rule shit, bro. Like, yeah, this is the chance to ball out till fucking hit zero, even if right. we're at twenty. Like, yo, exactly bro, what we did. you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, they don't get much playing time, so when they get that, yo, like, yo, you getting paid millions, bro? Like, matter of fact, how you feel about uh, how you feel about um, Joe? Talking to Billy Donovan about him having a foul um, dude on the Bulls, uh, Andre Drummond. Yo, we're up, we're up by like twenty five. <laughs> Yo, we're still playing the hack of Drummond. You know what I'm saying? We, we was playing to to advance in the tournament, so. He was giving him a heads up, like, yo, bro, like, I, yeah, it was a respect. That. Yeah, I respect. One for that. And yo, shout out to Joe Mazzula, because no lie, you know, he got brought into a situation that he might have not been ready for, but handled it as best as he yeah. could. That three-pointer shit was killing me last year, like, jacking them shits up left and right and missing <laughs> and not playing defense, because I guess we got used to the e mate shit, you know what I mean? Like, yo, guard up and then... You know exactly. what I mean? Just play right. But, I mean, I don't know what this three-point shit is about with the statistics. I don't know who's doing the analytics. But, yo, it's working. So, I guess, you know what I mean? We're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Yeah, and don't forget, man. Joe wasn't even an assistant coach, bro. Joe sat behind the bench. Joe wasn't even on the court any of the times when he was, he was on the squad. He literally just jumped mad lines. Yeah, and was like, yo, we want to put you as a coach. So yeah, but shout out to Joe, you've been killing it this year. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, good looks for watching the Snooky. Yeah, yo, it's Juan Bevel. You know what I'm saying? Anything's possible. Six one seven. Shout out to everybody out here holding it down, like and subscribing. Much love to y'all for real. Yeah, yeah, keep keep tuning, bro. It's just gonna keep coming, keep on getting better, better content, better everything, man. I'm mm -hmm. gonna see. All right, we out of here, kid. Yes, sir.